Hey beautiful people, it's Danielle. I'm on call today and as promised, I'm doing a sit down video for you guys. Today I decided I will switch things up a little bit and I'll speak about relationships and how to deal with heartbreak, you know, and to just how to be confident in yourself and to not make other people make you feel dumb. So if you guys want to be part of that discussion, stay tuned. So I know it can be hard, you know, dealing with heartbreak. I've been there numerous times myself. You know, it's not easy, you know, you it's an emotional pain, but sometimes it even goes as far as to manifest as even physical pain. You know, sometimes you can actually feel it in your chest. You know, and I understand that type of pain and you know I've been around many people who have experienced it and I have experienced it myself and as a result I would like to discuss it you know we can talk about it so that you can all heal together right so basically um, going into a relationship you just never know what to expect so the first thing I would say is never really have high expectations from anyone because that is what hurts the most is the expectations you know you expect better from someone and they disappoint you and that is what really causes most of the pain right so going into relationships don't have too much of high expectations you know have meaningful discussions to discuss what you want and see if what you want is the same as what your partner wants because maybe you want to settle down but maybe your partner doesn't want to um, settle down with one person so you know always have those discussions you know and most of the time you know I, I think that 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 people should should be more considerate of other people's feelings and they might think oh well you know there's other people in the world you know you can move on but no you if you you're with someone and and you know you're not serious and you gave that person the impression that that he was serious then you're basically wasting that person's time you know and time is something that is so valuable time is something that we can never get back you know and it's very inconsiderate to take out of people's time their energy their love you know if, if you know that you are not serious about it so number two plain and simple don't waste people's time if you're not serious about someone you know let them know you know and if by chance you do happen to have high expectations of someone and you, you thought that they would have made good use of your time and, and they didn't you know then you have to go through that um, whole healing process and number one I think um, the first step in, in healing is to, to think in logically about the situation most of the times you, you feel heartbroken because you think oh this person you know was a good person you enjoy the time you, you spend with them you know and, and all of that but really and truly think about it is that person a good person based on the reason for the splits you know really think about it and if you think about it logically you'd realize that losing that person was was not a, an actual loss but it was a gain you know it's not worth it so definitely think about it logically and the first thing you should be thinking that this is a gain and not a loss and I think that's one of the first steps in dealing with, with heartbreak you know uh, again number two you do things that you enjoy most of the times you're in relationship we invest so much time and energy into our relationship that we, we don't take the time to do things that you really enjoy so if you know you enjoy dancing or you, you enjoy you know going out with your friends on the beach then then take that time or you enjoy reading take that time to do that you know and again be happy about about the things that you, you can do now that that you were not able to do while you were in you know that relationship um again I know everyone says it, but there are other people in this in the world, right? There and there are other people that would treat you a hundred times better than, than that person would have treated you. So think of it that way. I know most of the times someone hurts us, we'll be like, Oh, we're not going to go back in any other relationship, we're just gonna stay alone because everyone is the same. But the truth is everyone is not the same, you know, people are different. There are genuine people with pure intentions that will treat you right you know and that that will help you to heal as well 
so never feel like oh you give up on love or, or you're not gonna try to find someone else you're just gonna stay by yourself no because there are good genuine people out there they are just harder to find yes so for me like you know i have had a lot of bad experiences as well with with guys and, and so and you know i have already thought that you know i'm gonna just give up on love i'm just gonna stay by myself but then when i least expected it you know i found someone who genuinely cares about me and you know who treats me the way that you know a, a woman deserves to be treated you know so that time will also come for you just don't give up on love and to really um uh, evaluate and examine persons when you're getting into a relationship with them look at their actions because people might talk the big talk but they would not walk the big walk right so actions speak louder than words so look at their actions and some of them they even do show a little action you know just to, to convince you that they care you know but and and, and that can can hurt as well but if it so happens that that, that person actually was doing things to, to make you think that, that they, they care and, and they turned out to not care because they were able to just leave you like that without thinking thinking twice then just look at it as a blessing in disguise because you know that person is just manipulative and, and you know how to get what they want and that's just what it is so that person is not a good person so don't feel bad about it it's not your fault you know um, sometimes people will be like oh you know like 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 why didn't you realize that this person wasn't good why why didn't you notice the signs and, and sometimes that the person actually didn't show you any signs that that they were not genuinely interested in you you know so it's not your fault it can happen and don't beat up yourself for it it's not your fault just move on from it and learn from it right and like i said there are good people in the world out there so just keep the faith do things that you enjoy um, do things to make you feel better about yourself you can get your hair done you can get your new clothes you can go out have a good time you can educate yourself you can elevate yourself and make yourself feel good feel good about yourself and then sometimes when you least expect it that person that will treat you right will, will come so yeah guys just always remain positive through it all and never think that oh you know you, you lost like you had this great loss you did not have a great loss you gained right and, and just have that mindset that was not a loss but a gain and what you're feeling is basically just an adjustment because you're used to this person being around and now that person is not around anymore so now you're adjusting to that person not being around it's not a matter that oh you cannot live without that person or you love this person so much no it's just an adjustment and in time you will learn to, to live your life happily without that person so just always remain positive remain strong remain powerful remain diligent you know and, and, and all of that guys so yeah if anyone else has anything to add let's continue the discussion in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye